will be handy indeed. Here we go. Heat number 12 takes her up, run away. Oh, tight first corner there. Keenan Rue took no prisoners there, gave Lindsay a real clout. Ladorn's come round the outside. Keenan Rue, the spoiler here as a replacement. Certainly looking good. Out in front, but look at that from Lindsay. Fantastic up the inside. Look at this now. Ladorn up the inside as well. Danny King tight there at the back as well. Keenan Rue in second place. Danny King hanging on. Good for Dawn. Ladorn coming on strong. King's going to have to slam the door shut. He does. Three all vital for the Witches to remain 10 points up on aggregate. Got to say, this is a good ride from Lizzie out in front. Had to work hard for it to get the better of his compatriot. King back in third place. The Dawn is not out of the picture. Going wide, very wide, losing ground. Would he gain some speed on the back straight? One last chance in the last corner. They need the 4-2. They're desperate for it. The Witches are hanging on, hanging tough, and they do. That's what they needed. It's getting tighter, it's getting closer. Litzy, brilliant out in front. Superb effort initially from Rue, made him work hard for it. Bladorn trying everything he knew there. Good night. Here we go then. Heat number 13 takes her up. Away we go. Into the first corner. Kurtz has got there. Doyle coming. Oh, Doyle nearly went to the back of Kurtz. And down the back straight. Here we go. Dan Bewley is trapped to the back. Can he chop to the inside? Oh, he's got the better of side moves at all. Bewley with a stunning move out of turn four. Where did he find that from? God, that sensational ride from Bewley. Kurtz out in front. The drama continues. Unbelievable when you consider side foods of up from Doyle. They're in third and four. You just can't script this playoff. Unbelievable scenes here. The Aces just won't lie down. Beauty producing magic on the opening lap. Kurtz out in front. A lap to go. This meeting is still alive. Can you believe what we're witnessing here tonight? Drama in the extreme, through the last corner, and the Bellevue Aces are still alive here tonight. They needed a three, all the witches. They couldn't do it. Beauty denies them. He was at the back. A three was on the car's early doors. The fans just can't believe what they've witnessed. Fabulous speedway once again. Here we go. How's it going to pan out? Heat number 14. Takes up now. We're underway. We hit the first corner. Lindsay from the outside. Got to say, it's a fabulous ride there from Hume. Hume is hit the front. Here comes Lindsay round the outside. He's got there. Oh, what a move from here. Here comes Ladorn now, up the inside. Ladorn's in the front, another five, one of the cards. Can you believe it? It's truly staggering stuff here once again. Lindsay, after that engine failure in his first ride, has turned on the style. Ladorn in second place, the German has had to ride awfully hard tonight. The busiest man in the pits been on the track nearly every other race. Lindsay, through the turns three and four, they're into the last lap. Six points down on Agrigo coming into heat number 14. It's not going to be like that now. One last blast down the back straight. And we're going to have the last heat decider. Here we go, the Aces are in it. The champions from last year. Wow. Remarkable stuff here in Manchester this evening. Initially, Hume was away there. But Lidsey, stunning speed. And Blood Dawn, he was out of shape, actually, momentarily on the opening lap. But he seemed to just drive by Hume up the inside. And another 5-1. Might be the final time. Four laps to determine. Here we go. Takes up. We're underway. Julie's made a good start. Dawn has made an even better one. Certainly Kurtz is there, here comes Beauty on the inside. Side food and off around the outside in the second place. Doyle coming through into third. Kurtz has gone off there, look at Beauty. Beauty on the inside. Incredible move from Beauty again. Doyle, Doyle fires himself back to the front. Beauty's now in front. Side food and up into third place, you can throw a blanket over all four riders. 
Here comes Doyle again. He's hit the front. Time booted off now. Up the inside. Oh, they nearly run into each other. But the Winters have hit the front. What a stunning couple of laps of speedway that was. Wow. What a response from Side Putinov and Doyle. Judy's there, Kurtz is at the back. And right now, the Ipswich Winches are going through to the final next week. What a night of Speedway. One last blast on the run to the corner. And the Ipswich Winches have done it. Oh, what a night. Many congratulations to the Ipswich Winches. By golly, they've had to hang on at times tonight. A stunning race to finish the evening off. Bitterly disappointed fans here in the crowd. The Bellevue Aces will be gutted with that. The final, the result. Emil Saifutinov, three points out in front. Two points for Jason Doyle. The 5-1 that does the deal for the Witches. Dan Bewley back in third place. And Brady Kurtz misses out in the Heat 15. And Scott... Well, what a way to finish up. A fitting race to win this wonderful... In no man's land there, and oh, Kelf, just what a race. I mean, the two witches boys, elbow to elbow, and Chris Louie just saying there that he felt for the riders and stuff, and Chris was watching a lot of the races from where I'm standing, and I could see his attitude and his body language change. The nerves were kicking in for him, but what a race for the witches, Kelf. It was indeed. It really was uh, a staggering stuff. Jason Doyle had uh, run a last earlier on, but this was... Uh, a ride of a former world champion, there's no doubt about that, and Saifutinov coming through as well. It really was a fitting end to a wonderful night of Speedway, one that can be a joy, a joy obviously for the neutrals, it's been terrific, disappointing for the Aces, of course.